Okay guys, you're joining me on my uh, evening commute home. I say evening, it's nearly bloody night time now. Uh, so let's see how the uh, speed triple gets on on a commute home. So we've got a bit of a town segment now, well city, Leicester city. And uh, so far I can tell you that uh, it's a mixed bag in town. But I folded the mirrors in so that I can commute a bit easier, as you can probably see, hopefully. Because uh, on the way around so they stick out a bit. traffic here tonight, it's nearly 8 o'clock <clears throat> so one thing you do find is it, it is tricky to get into neutral at a standstill I've been keeping it in road mode Uh, for the town riding and flicking into sport as I get out of town and uh, you can definitely tell the difference between the modes so it's not at low speeds, I wouldn't say it's particularly flickable. You do have to muscle it. A bit. So that was a little impromptu pit stop at Hans Vegan in Leicester. I finished work so late. Well, I thought I'd rather, can't be bothered to cook, so. Always a good meal from here. Had the uh, fish and chips, which I'll showcase to you now. and the uh, caramel apple pie for dessert <coughs> doesn't the uh, spear triple look gorgeous in the night. Okay, so we're back out. And uh, in the dark. And the uh, speed triple has got a fantastic headlight. Got a really good spread. And on four beam, literally turns that night into day. So I'm going to do a, a separate video on the headlight. Well, I'm going to do a separate video on the actual lights themselves. I think they look uh, pretty banging actually. So in town, she's happiest in second gear. Which is annoying uh, because it, uh, your cruise control only works in third gear and above. So 
Go on, engage cruise control at 30. There you go. It's okay, a constant throttle, but you can feel she she's only doing about uh, two and a half thousand revs. But yeah, I mean, it's fine. She she does it, but she was happier in second in town, and that gives you plenty of instant drive. Not that there's any lack of power in at any point, but there you go. Yeah, these uh, low speed turns are not uh, where she feels the best. Steering Just feel a little bit uh, heavy at lower speeds. But well, don't get me wrong, it's not ponderous or anything. It's not quite like a cruiser, but uh, you just know she feels happier when you when the uh, pace has been up. So I've been doing my uh, 80 mile round commute on her for a couple of days. That's it, I'm doing just in the 30 there in third. You can feel it, the engine bogging down a bit. But yeah, so I've done my um, commute to work on her for a couple of days and uh, what I've learned is this. Um, it, this is a bike that uh, shrinks your commute. And uh, you have to be very careful because you get, get up to uh, license losing speeds very, very, very quickly if you're not careful. Um, but that is uh, one bonus of uh, being a naked uh, because you can't really sustain naughty speeds for too long because your neck gets pounded <laughs> uh, so compared to the RR yeah you definitely wouldn't be able to keep up high speeds for a lot for a long long time. It was just too damn uncomfortable. But overall, in terms of comfort, though, apart from that, <coughs> it's uh, not bad actually. To be fair. So you got you got some. Uh, not the that was close. So you got a little bit of pressure on your wrist around town, but uh, <coughs> it's not uh, it's not actually uncomfortable to be honest. The seat is reasonable as well. I don't complain about the seat, surprisingly. Now filtering is a bit of an issue. If the mirrors folded in, it's fine though. Moved them out, I would, I would not have been able to do that. I mean, you're always going to win the traffic light Grand Prix, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, comfort wise, the seat's good. The uh, bend in your knees isn't too bad. It's uh, unacceptable for me for my. Uh, uh, about 50, 50 odd minutes to get to work. And uh, it's quite a nice riding position to be honest. I do find uh, I'm sliding forward quite a bit, but I think that's because of my textile trousers. So I won't blame that on the bike. So yeah, comfort. So position's fine, seat's fine, position of the pegs is all fine. Um, 
Riding around town, I'd say the clutch lever, the clutch is a little bit grubby. And uh, the clutch itself is a bit stiff, but once you get out of the uh, first gear, you don't need to use it anyway. So, don't need to worry about that. Gravel. This bike and a lot more on trance is the uh, illuminated switch gear. So hoping you can see that. But it's all clearly lit up. Although you can argue you don't really need it on a bike like this, it does uh, it is handy. Clearly see where all my cruise control is. Uh, your mode to put on everything, so yeah, big bonus point for that. What's not so good is the uh, lack of heated uh, grips, the standard. As far as this bike, come on, Brian. While I'm, uh, I'm on that subject as well, I would also like to have seen. Uh, Oh, pressure monitoring standard as well. Uh, 15 grand for a bike. Just sweeten the deal by, uh, you know, specking them up. I had the uh, same criticism of the uh, RR. And uh, yeah, it's probably not just trial, isn't it? No one thinks like that. We BMWs are the same, aren't they? Uh, Good handlebars. There's uh, not much in terms of vibrations at all. Really, it's perfectly bearable. There's a little bit there to get it alive. Uh, nowhere near as bad as the uh, Tiger 900, for example, or the new 1200. It's a bit smoother. One thing I have gelled with, um, which I wasn't uh, sure on at first, is the tyres. They'd be pretty good actually. They put flash me, right? <laughs> it's has gone high beam. Yeah, well, I've actually judged pretty well with the tyres. Plenty of grip. Even in the mornings, uh, when it's been cold, not been too bad actually. <laughs> yeah, so. First, I thought they were tracking imperfections, but I think, to be honest, I think one of is probably just you know that uh, suspension being so stiff that made me think that. But yeah, so the one area in regards to commuting. And in general, I personally feel that the speed triple struggles of it is a uh, low speed handling. I think it's more to do with the stance of the bike, the riding position. I'm kind of used to my uh, Tiger in the uh, that right position with the handlebars. What I'm saying that. My, uh, my speed twin's got a similar riding position to this and is uh, uh, pretty good at slower speeds. Yeah, that's, well, that's one minor that marker. 
turning circle isn't the best either. I mean, it, I think my body's even uh, acclimatizing, acclimatizing, uh, acclimatizing to the uh, suspension because uh, <laughs> I'm not being phased by the bumps anymore. I think I kind of expecting them. But as I said in the uh, last video, I mean, might be able to dial it out. We just all the suspension is pretty adjustable, so should be able to soften it up a bit, I reckon. But uh, would that be at the expense of the handling? That's the thing. It's a trade-off, isn't it? That's one thing you don't have to worry about either. Joining a dual carriageway from a slip road. The only uh, the downside doing that is your mirrors. That's why I'm writing so much difficult to uh, work out how far away the cars are. On dual carriageways up to uh, slightly naughty speeds it's absolutely fine. You, know, you can do this for a reasonable distance, a reasonable distance from our feet to the foot. I've got the, uh, the GoPro camera strapped to the side of my helmet in a minute, so it's uh, making it 10 times worse for me right now. <laughs> This is the time in cruise control. Sit back and relax. Turn the cruise control off is uh, just literally a flick of the uh, any of the brakes. Also roll off the throttle, push upwards slightly and we'll turn itself off. And uh, all the clutches as well. So, top foot is going to be set. The big problem with this road is it's very, very bumpy. So. <laughs> I'm hoping you'll get some idea of uh, what it's like. <laughs> I suppose it's difficult with the uh, GoPro's stabilisation program and all that. This is where it gets bumpy! <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good test of uh, how comfortable your suspension is. And I'm afraid, Speedy, you failed that test. <laughs> uh, good fun, though. This is a lovely little ride home, actually. Temperature's just right. 13 degrees. Doesn't feel like it. Feels a little bit warmer than that. Quite a jump on. And the more track is. I'm perfectly comfortable. Oh, this is where I love uh, the tiger. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I want to jump this point though. You get a nice bit of air on the tiger there. Wow. Those front brakes are phenomenal. 
they're not grubby aggressive and you've got lots of feel from them brilliant stoppers you know what you could never use the full power of this bike on the rocket not safety anyway well not without getting into serious trouble anyway I am just about coming to the end of my commute so the question is can you commute on the speed triple? of course you can, like you can on any bike would I like to commute on this year round? No, no, not for me, but uh, you could do. If your uh, commute involves lovely smooth roads and not uh, bumpy back roads, you should lap it up. Thanks for riding with me, V-Riders. See you on the next one.